Is it okay to have domestic help in the Philippines? The old term used to be servants, but people do not like being called servants. Um, but what we're talking about is your maid, your driver, your cook, your gardener, etc. Some people get very critical on it because they do not understand the country, understand the standards and quality of life. Because what they see is a low salary. For example, say somebody gets paid 3,000 pesos a month. Some people get paid less than that. They think, oh, that, that's not a lot. But they're living. They've got free food, free um, roof over their head. So there's no rent. There's free food. There's free education in some cases. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the background. But that's not figured in the 3,000 that's what this is the focus people focus on oh they get paid only 3,000 pesos a month they do not connect all the other bits and pieces because a skilled employee working in a factory is often only paid about 6,000 um, which sounds is double fair, fair enough but it doesn't go as far because the cost of living in the Philippines is actually on the rise. So things like the electrical bills are going up. The um, cost of general goods is going up. There is a thing with the rice, which I cannot understand for the life of me, why the Philippines is not producing its own rice. Um, but also even the, uh, even the coconuts are not being produced in the way they should be. There's a lot of resources that the Philippines is simply just not producing correctly. Um, but long story short, the, the Philippines is capable of feeding itself if it focused on it. But the reality is it's not. It, it's obsessed with imports. It gets a rise from Thailand and other, other countries rather than growing it when it's capable of doing it. It used to do it. Um, and some people will say labor costs but it, i think it's more to do with corruption than anything else because if anything comes through the ports it's taxed at the port if it's grown on a farm it can disappear it doesn't have to have any tax paid on it whatsoever um or they say that only half the crop was any good etc i think it's more to do with getting the money rather than the inability to produce going on a tangent there but the reality is a lot of people have a higher standard of living being somebody's living maid or whatever than they would get by themselves. It's also why there's a lot of domestic helps in Hong Kong because a lot of Chinese prefer to have Filipino workers uh, rather than Chinese. I'm not sure why because um, I'm not Chinese so I can't really comment on that. But myself, we have most of my driving done by my father-in-law. He does my running around. My mother-in-law does the stuff like the groceries and stuff but we do have a nanny for the kids when we're in the philippines we do have a maid that helps my mother-in-law with the store and day-to-day -day stuff because my mother-in-law's having a few health issues so she's got somebody helping her on her day-to-day -day stuff we do get people down from the mountains to do the gardening do they cost a lot not really uh, I mean, even my laundry woman works out cheaper than using the washing machine. I can, that's all I can say on that. The quality of the washing is spot on. But at the end of the day, she manages to put her kids through school. She manages to feed herself, house herself, everything else from doing it. We also have somebody that does the old nails and manicure, pedicure, that sort of stuff that comes around. She earns more working for herself and doing it house to house than she does working for a company. I think the, she said the company only pays her something like 2000 So it's about 2000 a week. But then when she breaks it down, if she goes into our house, for example, there'll be five to six people in one hit. In an hour, she's earned her entire day salary that she would have earned at work because there's so many people that she's dealing with directly. But what you'll find is our compound would get it done, the neighbour would get it done, the ones behind us would get it done. So she ends up there for the entire day. She earns a lot more money doing it that way. So from my personal view, I think that it actually helps the economy because you have a lot of houses 
where they have too many kids. I'm not getting into the whole birth control thing, but the, the reality is a lot of people cannot afford to feed their children properly. As such, they will often try and push them onto a neighbour or somebody as domestic help because as a domestic help, instead of them actually costing money, they're bringing money back because they normally send money back to the families and as such, it keeps money flowing within a family. It also cuts down on the poverty. A while back, the Philippines tried to introduce a minimum wage for the domestic helpers. It didn't work out too well because the reality is most people would ditch their domestic helpers if they were on a minimum salary. It's not because they would like to underpay people, but simply, generally, most people are underpaid anyway. So the reality is they couldn't afford to keep people on a minimum wage. It's, it's no more complex than that. They, you, you will pay what the market value dictates. If you start dictating to people, this is what we'll pay, this is what we'll pay. This is why I have a issue with a lot of the minimum wages in Europe now because there's a lot of jobs that would be there if there was no minimum wage. And what you normally find is with lower paid jobs, you normally get overtime. So although they're working extra hours, the reality is they're still going to end up about the same money with extra hours, but the job exists. They're not unemployed. They're not a burdened off state. They've actually got self-worth. And this is why it's important to actually have some of these jobs that sit below the minimum wage. Um, but that's why I'm not fond of the minimum wage. And I know some people will go, oh, Matt, but, the, you know, I'm, I'm saying look at the rates. This is why when you go for a, a Big Mac or something, the, it seems rather expensive. You know, to me, it's getting to the point it's near enough the same as a sit-down meal, which sort of... To me, it just seems a rip-off. You know, burger and chips, the same price as a plated meal. Maybe I'm missing something somewhere. But the reality is, this is dictated by, I would say predominantly, the minimum wages. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. But I'm for domestic helps. It's as simple as that. They make my life less complicated. They make my wife's life less complicated we have people that can run errands for us we have people that can maintain the house so we're not bogged down on the day-to-day -day stuff because in the philippines a lot of the stuff takes a lot longer than it would in the west all right thanks for listening